Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you another exposure blending technique called the fake grad filter technique. And what it allows you to do is just with kind of one sweep of a, a mouse you can blend two exposures. And the reason I call it the fake grad filter technique is because it kind of allows you to do the same thing that you would do if you had a grad filter on your camera at the time you are taking the shot. And by that I mean to say that you can darken the sky whilst keeping the foreground um, you know, normally lit. So in this case here, I've got another two exposures that I've loaded into, well, each into their own individual layer. So I've got this bright exposure here where obviously the sky is completely blown out there in the distance, but the foreground actually is exposed quite nicely. And then if I hide this layer, we've got the darker one underneath, probably quite a bit too dark actually um, overall, but you know, it's just enough that this sky over here, which was really bright, um, has, you know, we've, we've maintained the color and the detail in that. So the technique, just in a nutshell, we've got these two layers here. So I'm going to add a layer mask to the top one. And then I'm going to grab the gradient tool. And I'm going to make a foreground color of black there. And then just up here, I'm going to make sure it goes from black to, well, either black to white or black to transparent. So we've got black to transparent for now. And then all I'm going to do is draw a line where I want the transition between these two exposures to happen. So I'll start off sort of near the top. And as I do this, just a, another side note, if you hold shift on the keyboard as you're moving the mouse, then it will make sure it goes in a straight line downwards. So just to make sure it's completely lined up. So I'll hold shift and I'll click and drag down. Say, let's go that far. That was a pretty good first guess actually. Um, but yeah, there's the technique basically. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. But what we've done in effect is you know, darken that sky with the same type of effect that you would have if you just used a grad filter there to do the same thing on your camera. And what you'll notice here in the layer mask is you know, it, looks, uh, it looks as if you have got that kind of filter in a way. So it's like a, a dark to gray and then to completely white gradient, which represents that transition between the two exposures. Now another cool trick that you can use, which makes this behave even more like a grad filter, is just to, you see this little chain link here in between the mask and the actual layer itself. If you click that to remove it, then what you can do is with the mask highlighted, just pick the move tool. What you can do is, again, holding shift to make sure we're only going up and down rather than left and right. We can actually move that entire layer mask up and down to move that transition after we've already applied it. Now if I move it down here, we can see we've got this big sort of section up here where it's not being applied. All we need to do there is just grab the paint bucket tool in the mask and just fill that in to, uh, to make that transition there at the top completely black. Now again, just back to the move tool, we can sort of slide this up and down and then adjust it as, uh, you know, as we see fit. So I probably like it around about there. That looks pretty good. Now, once you've done this, another thing to note is that if you've got anything like this kind of cliff top here is starting off high in the frame and then it comes down to that horizon. Now with this method, obviously I'm blending just in a straight line. So this part of the cliff here is also getting darkened a little bit. Might not necessarily want that, but what you can then do if you want to do something to fix that up is just grab a white brush again. And, you know, in the same way that we did in the previous video, we can just click in that mask there and just gradually brush into the mask with the white brush to reveal again this brighter exposure, which is on the top here. And that just kind of fixes that problem up there. All right, I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. If you like shooting landscapes and you want to learn how to put all these individual tips and techniques that you're learning into a structured six step Photoshop workflow, then click the download button and I'll send you my free PDF cheat sheet that lays everything out for you step by step.